Welcome back to HeartWise, the ultimate heart health series. Today we're diving into a critical topic, hypertension or high blood pressure and its impact on heart health. Often called the silent killer, hypertension can go unnoticed for years while quietly damaging your heart and blood vessels. Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, commonly affects millions worldwide. It occurs when the force of blood against the artery walls is too high, leading to health problems. According to the World Health Organization, around 1.13 billion people globally have hypertension. This number continues to rise, making it a significant public health issue. Many people with hypertension may not know they have it because it often has no warning signs. However, detecting it early is crucial. High blood pressure can lead to severe conditions like heart disease and stroke. Regular checkups can help monitor and control blood pressure levels. Understanding hypertension is the first step in managing and preventing it. Knowing the risks and how it impacts the body can lead to better health choices. By the end of this episode, you'll understand what hypertension is, why it matters, and most importantly, how you can manage it naturally through diet and exercise. Hypertension has various causes, often linked to lifestyle and genetics. One major factor is an unhealthy diet. Consuming too much salt, fat, and cholesterol can increase blood pressure. Fast food and processed snacks are typical culprits. Reducing salt intake and eating a balanced diet can help manage blood pressure. Another significant cause is lack of physical activity. Sedentary lifestyles increase the risk of hypertension. Regular exercise helps maintain a healthy weight and strengthens the heart. Even moderate activities like walking or cycling can make a big difference. Genetics also play a role in hypertension. If family members have high blood pressure, the risk increases. It's important to be aware of family health history. Lastly, stress contributes to hypertension. High stress levels over time can lead to elevated blood pressure. Managing stress through relaxation techniques is beneficial. Hypertension affects the cardiovascular system significantly. When your blood pressure is consistently high, your heart has to work harder to pump blood. This increased workload can lead to the thickening of the heart muscle, particularly the left ventricle. Over time, this makes your heart less efficient, increasing the risk of heart failure. Keeping blood pressure in check helps maintain heart health. Blood vessels also suffer from hypertension. High pressure can damage the inner lining of arteries. This damage makes it easier for plaque to build up. Plaque narrows the arteries and reduces blood flow. Reduced blood flow means less oxygen for organs which can lead to other health issues. Additionally, hypertension can cause aneurysms. An aneurysm is a bulge in a blood vessel wall. If it bursts, it can be life-threatening. This emphasizes the importance of controlling blood pressure. Regular monitoring and healthy habits can prevent these complications. Finally, hypertension can lead to kidney damage. The kidneys filter waste from the blood. High blood pressure can harm blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their efficiency. Keeping blood pressure in a healthy range protects all organs. Hypertension and coronary artery disease. Hypertension is a major risk factor for coronary artery disease, or CAD. CAD occurs when the arteries that supply blood to the heart become narrowed or blocked. This is often due to plaque buildup caused by high blood pressure. Reduced blood flow to the heart can lead to chest pain or heart attacks. The link between hypertension and CAD is strong. High blood pressure can speed up the process of atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of fats, cholesterol, and other substances in and on the artery walls. This buildup restricts blood flow, increasing the risk of heart disease. Furthermore, hypertension can exacerbate existing heart conditions. If someone already has heart disease, high blood pressure can make it worse. It increases the heart's workload, leading to further complications. Managing hypertension is crucial in preventing CAD. By controlling blood pressure, individuals can reduce their risk of heart attacks and other cardiovascular issues. Regular checkups and a healthy lifestyle are key components of prevention. Symptoms and Diagnosis of Hypertension Hypertension is often called the silent killer because it rarely shows symptoms. Many people do not realize they have high blood pressure until it causes serious problems. However, some symptoms can occur such as headaches, dizziness or shortness of breath. These signs should not be ignored. Diagnosing hypertension involves measuring blood pressure. This is done using a blood pressure cuff, typically during a routine medical visit. Blood pressure is given as two numbers, systolic and diastolic pressure. A reading of 130 over 80 millimeters of mercury or higher is considered hypertension. If a high reading is detected, doctors usually take multiple measurements over time. 
This ensures the diagnosis is accurate. Sometimes patients may need to monitor their blood pressure at home. Home monitoring helps track blood pressure changes throughout the day. In addition to measuring blood pressure, you may need to perform other tests. These can include blood tests, urine tests, and electrocardiograms or ECGs. These tests help identify any underlying conditions that might contribute to hypertension. Early diagnosis is vital for effective management. Treatment and Lifestyle Changes Treating hypertension often involves a combination of medication and lifestyle changes. Medications, such as diuretics, beta blockers, and ACE inhibitors, help lower blood pressure. These drugs work in different ways to reduce the strain on the heart and arteries. It's important to follow the prescribed treatment plan. In addition to medication, lifestyle changes play a critical role. Eating a healthy diet is essential. The DASH diet, or dietary approaches to stop hypertension is highly recommended. It focuses on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Focus on foods high in potassium, calcium, and magnesium, which can help regulate blood pressure. Reduce sodium intake. Aim for no more than 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. Read labels, cook at home, and use herbs and spices instead of salt to add flavor. Increase fiber intake. Foods high in fiber, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can help lower blood pressure. Limit red meat and sweets. Reducing your intake of red meats, sugary beverages, and sweets can lower your risk of hypertension. Diet is just one part of the equation. Regular physical activity is another key factor in managing hypertension. At least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise each week, such as brisk walking, jogging, swimming, or cycling. Aerobic exercise helps lower blood pressure and strengthens your heart. Include strength training exercises at least two days a week. Building muscle helps your body use insulin more effectively and can lower your blood pressure. Weight loss can also have a significant impact on blood pressure levels. Look for opportunities to move more, take the stairs, walk during breaks, or stand while working. Every little bit counts. Lastly, managing stress is important. Activities like yoga, tai chi, or pilates can reduce stress and promote relaxation, which can also help lower blood pressure. Avoiding tobacco and limiting alcohol intake are also beneficial. Managing hypertension is a lifelong commitment, but with the proper diet and exercise, it's entirely possible to keep it under control and protect your heart. Remember, your heart is the engine that keeps your body running. Take care of it, and it will take care of you. Thank you for joining me on this episode of HeartWise. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay heart smart and see you next Saturday at noon for our next episode.